The 10 News Weather Authority, always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. Happy Friday. So far, kind of a gloomy start to the afternoon. A little on the cool side as well. Blacksburg at 50 degrees. Martinsville a little damp as we've got some showers passing through. And at the Roanoke Blacksburg Regional Airport, it uh, looks like the sun trying to play a little peekaboo through the clouds. Temperatures 50 to 55. A little breezy. That wind coming in out of the northwest. Drier air starting to push in to the highlands and the New River Valley, though still pretty wet at times in Henry County, Pennsylvania, Campbell, Appomattox, Charlotte, and uh, Halifax counties. Amherst and Nelson County still dealing with some rain. Give it up until 1.30, and I think that batch kind of moves out of here. So your evening plans, for the most part, good to go. Factor in a light jacket, nothing too heavy. Temperatures in the upper 40s and lower 50s. Mainly dry, can't rule out a stray shower, but most of us are looking good to go. Here's first thing tomorrow morning. Temperatures a little cooler thanks to that northwest breeze, right? 35 to 41. 7 a.m. We're mostly dry. Fast forward after 10 or 11 a.m. and you see some snow on the western slopes, really those typical spots that uh, usually see it. Fast forward to about 12, 1, 2 p.m. Notice some rain uh, for most of the area, but still those highest elevations. Mountain Lake, parts of Bland County, Greenbrier, Pocahontas counties dealing with a little bit of snow, maybe some sleet as well. And that continues up until about supper time on Saturday afternoon, Saturday evening. But for the Roanoke Valley, you're probably not going to go see in any kind of measurable snow because your temperatures are going to be in the 40s. Last time we had a back to back Februarys with no accumulating snow in the Roanoke Valley. 1998, 1999. But what we could see, maybe even some tiny pieces of hail. The air above us is going to be cold, so you could have that just straight up tiny pieces of ice, or you could have something kind of funky called grapple, which is water that melts onto falling snowflakes, kind of soft to the touch. Some folks call it soft hail or uh, soft hail or uh, hominy snow. So it's kind of kind of weird, but you may see that uh, heading into the afternoon tomorrow. Tomorrow, 45 to 50. Sunday, the pick day of the week. Weekend, mostly sunny and not as cold. Definitely turning warmer next week. Highs in the 60s thanks to that southwest breeze. Strong front's going to move in, bring us some showers and some storms, followed by a sharp drop in temperatures. Exact timing really just has to do with how deep that storm is going to be. If it's shallow, farther north, it's probably going to bring in some earlier rain and storms on Wednesday. If it's a little deeper, digging farther to the south, probably be by Wednesday evening. We've got plenty of time to figure that out. Just want to let you know that that is, uh, no pun intended, on the radar. Temperatures 55 to 60 today. Again, tomorrow's about 10 degrees colder. We're breezy today and tomorrow with mostly scattered showers. If you're looking for snow, got to go to some of those highest elevations, especially above 3,000 feet. 50s with sun Sunday and then 60s making a comeback next week. That's good if you like spring. It's not so good if uh, you got allergies. I know a lot of us <laughs> starting to sniffle a little bit yep. um, already. I was walking around the neighborhood yesterday. Sorry to notice some some buds on the oh, trees. Okay. Yeah. I need to I need to figure out when I can garden, when yeah. I can plant some like sunflowers and yeah. all of that. So the last freeze is usually like mid to late April. So it's funny when you get these roller coasters <laughs> and then you get that one cold snap. Right. So uh, but soon enough. Soon enough. All yep. right. I'll come to you first to find out.